Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. I'd be more comfortable if we weren't touching. I'm, I'm quite <laughs> confident in my manliness, so I, whether you're touching me or not. I would feel a lot more comfortable if I didn't well, have a, a warm, moist leg touching mine. Well, <laughs> it is rather warm today, and you are kind of hot, but I'm cool, so we're good. I don't think that Jesus called us to be uh, comfortable. As I look through the Bible at Old or New Testament, I, I never saw any disciples comfortable. I don't think any disciples felt comfortable when Jesus was washing their feet. I don't think the disciples were comfortable crossing over the water. As much as I strive to be comfortable, I, uh, I do think that comfort is the constant diet of the apathetic. And I think that the, the believers, uh, many of the believers today, which I would include myself in, um, don't have so much of a desire to make themselves uncomfortable to reach those that are living in darkness. I don't think we should uh, be comfortable when we know there's a heaven and there's a hell and there's some people that are heading to hell. You know, people are dying. And so what are you going to do about it? Am I going to sit there and play Monopoly? What would you say to the, to the introvert that says, you know what, that, that's not me. It's not who I am. If, you know, I'm, I'm a person that deals much better in um, solitude, uh, working on coding, um, doing data input, uh, working on bookkeeping. When people say, I feel that's what I'm supposed to do, what did God tell you to do? That's my first thing is, did you check in with God, yes or no? What is God saying to you? Because sometimes God does ask us to get out of our comfort zones. I don't think we should always just put everybody in a cookie cutter and say, okay, you, you only do introverted things because that's all you're good at. No, I think that sometimes God calls us out of our comfort zone. I, I, I think of Moses. Um, I think that he stuttered, supposedly. Get my big brother to do it. He's the, you know, let him do it. God chooses people to do things that don't necessarily make the most sense. I think oftentimes we can create categories in ministry and say that, you know, there are certain people that fit in those categories and people that don't. And in the same way, I think we create categories both in the church as well as in society for men. What does the Bible say about the, the role of a, of, of a man? What category does a, does a man fit into? And does that match up with society? I love it. You can U-turn anywhere here in Macau. It's, here we are in Macau. It's fantastic. It's fabulous. It's Chinese. It's, it's you know, Portuguese. This is one of the few places in Asia where you can have an Italian gondola. Come on now. <laughs> now what, what happens here is supposed to stay here, but we're, we're not going to do it that way. As Christians, what happens here, we're going to share it with the rest of the world. So we're, we're doing the opposite. Get off. 68.